Hello everybody, welcome to my first video on this channel at least. Today we're going to be building a bioactive setup for my leopard gecko. Unfortunately I can't have him out because he doesn't really like to be handled and with the new setup he can be very hidden if he wants to be. This is a rather simplistic build, just a couple different kinds of plants and spread out a little bit in a 20 gallon I believe, it's the Exoterra medium low one. So I'm going to show you how I took my old crappy build, this one, not exactly the proper setup, and I turned it into this one. So for this build I was using magnolia leaves, moss, springtails, powder blue isopods, some custom rocks that I had made up, peperomia hope, aloe vera barbadensis, there's little helio there, zoomed repti soil, zoomed excavator clay, sphagna moss, and forest moss. Not a whole lot of that, use that for the humid hides and we'll just get into the build now. I had to start off by cleaning up the tank that I'm using again from the previous setup. I didn't have the best setup using coconut fiber and sand, but this was back before when I didn't do all my research, but I've learned since then and got all the supplies I need for this new setup that I want to create for this build. The next part is pretty straightforward, just following the directions of the excavator clay, meanwhile trying to keep the house from becoming a dusty desert. I found that the consistency from following the instructions was what I was wanting. Now I just had to scape it into the tank, scaling the highest points at the back and the lowest at the front. And I actually broke the measuring cup doing this, clearly not thinking. Now I had to get an idea of how I wanted to place the tunnel. I really wanted to make this tunnel good since he spent most of the time before in the magnetic cave that was on the side. Here is where I add the forest, sphagnum, and moss I was propagating. I'm not sure how well it will do, but I will continuously spray it just to keep it moist. For creating the tunnel and keeping the rocks in place, I wet the clay and molded it around everything just to lock it in place. I was quite surprised while I was doing this too because Helio managed to escape two or three times so I decided just to let him roam around the table while I was completing his build.
I find it best to anchor the plants to a more sturdy structure in the tank due to the lizard just climbing all over it and inevitably wrecking the plant. Dealing with the plants was probably the hardest part. I would recommend making like a deep pot out of the excavator clay for the plants to burrow into. Pretty much done now, I just need to add the isopods and leaf litter. Lastly, have to add in Helio, but after a few days to give the plants and cleanup crew some time to establish.
hope everybody did enjoy that build. I stayed up until like 3 a.m. because I started at like 9 o'clock. I had to wait until I got all the supplies and when I finally got them, I was just too excited. I had to go at it. So that explains why I broke that measuring cup, scooping in the excavator clay. But I hope everybody did enjoy. It was a really cool setup for me at least. I really liked the way it turned out. Fairly simplistic, yet there's a few different things for him to go at. And I'm, I will be changing it with time. I do want to get a new water bowl because this one doesn't exactly fit the build. So probably a corner bowl I'll put somewhere else. And then I do have a calcium bowl in there too and a water bowl just it's it's really awkward I'm also thinking I'm gonna get more isopods since I built that I actually have gotten a panther chameleon which is right here if you want to see that I will be building him an enclosure so that video will probably be coming soon if people want to see that let me know comments likes show also, I will be going to the Reptile Expo in Toronto on January 26th, so if you want to see any of that, let me know. I don't plan on recording any of it, but if people show some interest in it, then I will. I do actually have another channel on YouTube, I just thought that this would be a better place for these types of videos since it's very different from what I normally do. And I do plan on getting at least two crested geckos from this expo. I have built a little setup for them now. Uh, don't want to show too much of that though because I am making a video on that and that will be coming probably after the expo So after the 26 when I can actually put them inside still not finished But working on it as I go, but that is gonna have to be it for today's video I hope everybody enjoyed it. I spent a lot of time on it, especially the build well and editing too There's a lot of footage and angles very different from the stuff I normally record so for now I'll see you in the next video